Hey everyone, I'm Mitch Durfee and today I want to talk to you about the power of your network. Now, before I get started, I want to tell you a quick story about when I first discovered how critically important it is to have a network that supports you. When I first returned home from Afghanistan, thinking that I was going to be this giant real estate investor one day, business owner, philanthropist, and be able to serve people and speak on stage around the country, I realized that in order for me to do that, I needed a network of people that was actually doing that. And when I came back from overseas, it was really hard for me to jump back into the wave of things because I was gone for so long that when I came back, I really didn't have anyone that I could really even tell this message to. So I started to kind of break down these moments in my life where I had to figure out what is it that I have to do to be able to figure out how to get to from where I am now with no network, no job, and no real clear direction on how I'm going to become this real estate investor, business owner, and you know, public speaker. And in order for me to do that, I realized that there was a couple things that I had to do. And one of them was the most important thing on this eight steps to master your day course. And that is building your network. Now, when I say building your network, I don't mean going out there and meeting with people and trying to sell them. If that's what you do, if you go out to different events, um, whether it's a marketing event or just any any event at all where other business owners are going to and your one sole uh, objective is at that thing is to sell them a product or service then you're doing it 100% wrong stop that immediately and I can't tell you how many people absolutely can't stand that and what you're doing is you're really affecting your long-term value in the network building organ like organization uh, what is really important when you're talking about building a network is to find out, one, what it is that they are selling and then connect them with someone else that's in your network that may need that service. So don't go out there and try to sell them information. Go out there and try to discover information. Now going back to when I said that I didn't have a network when I came back from Afghanistan. Now it may be a little bit untrue because of course I did have my family that was still there and my friends, some of my friends from high school. But what I meant by not having a network when I came back from Afghanistan was I didn't really have any business professionals aligned in the same field. So it felt like I didn't have a network. So no matter where you are, I'm telling you, you can build that network in a, as little as a year to have 365 additional people that are going to work for you to help discover how they can connect you with other people in their network. Me personally, I'll give you a couple success stories of things that have happened for me. Chris Kelly, uh, another real estate investor, him and I met over a coffee about a year and a half ago. And collectively, we've been able to purchase almost two and a half million dollars worth of real estate. And again, this never would have happened if I didn't have um, someone else in my network. They helped connect me with someone that was aligned with my real estate goals. Now, Jay Cummins is also someone that's helped me over the years, and it's incredible to think that you know only two years ago I met Jay, and we've gone to several different Tony Robbins events where we met other people, and he's connected me with some of his people in his network. He's also helped me with my business growth and success, because anytime I have a challenge or concern or a success that we can celebrate and I go to Jay, Jay's usually right there to be able to kind of shorten the path of least resistance for me in my business. So without Jay, my business would have grown to the level that it has. Again, without Nate, also another member of my G19 group, this connection, this closely knit networking group where we're constantly providing value for each other. Without Nate, again, my fitness and health wouldn't be what it is. Now, the second thing I want to talk about when it comes to building a network is it doesn't happen overnight. And that's why on this 8 Steps to Master Your Day program, I want to encourage you to just make sure that every day you make it a constant objective to add at least one person to your network every day. Now, when I say add someone to your network every day, I don't mean just go out there 
and add one person just because. Although, you know, when you pass someone at a restaurant or at the grocery store or anything like that, you never know where it is that you may actually need this person or be able to connect them with someone in your network. But what I'm saying is you don't want to just get their information and rubber band them. Like I think a lot of us out there will go to a marketing event or a networking event and collect all the information and never do anything with it. Now for me, I like to review these people that I connect with from time to time. I was actually speaking with you know one of our businesses out in Arizona and he was talking about how he connected with uh, a person that was, uh, that was a higher figure in a business and and I said, well, you know what? Um, I actually have a connection for you out there. I met him in Arizona also, and I was able to connect him with this person. So when you have people that are in your network and your peers and you have you know, this database of information, again, it's not about you selling the person one-to-one. -one. It's about connecting and providing value for the people that are in your network. So although you may rubber band them, don't just give up on them and sort through them and say, okay, well, that guy can help me immediately. That guy, you know, and just kind of throw him on the ground and be like, um, well, that girl, she's really good at interior design, so I'm sure, you know, maybe someday I could probably use that information and just, you know, sort through them. Hold on to them because you never know who you're going to come across that, you know, may actually need that service that that person provides. So don't just sort through them and discard them. Now, one of the other things that I find extremely valuable when it comes to building a network and the reason that I suggest adding one person to your network daily is the fact that when you do this, you're able to connect other people in your network, right? Again, we kind of went over this already, but if you add one person to your network every single day, that's 365 more people that you are able to help your network connect with, right? It's not about doing it for yourself. Again, I wrote the book Serve to Win as a way of serving others first. And I realized that, you know, even though this is my first book, I think the next book would be definitely Network to Win. Because when I came back from overseas and I had no network, it was extremely difficult for me to find a career or profession that I wanted to get into. I knew I wanted to be investing in real estate, but I didn't know anyone that was already doing that. I knew that I wanted to own a business, so I had to connect with business owners because, again, business owners have already gone through a lot of the trials and tribulations of starting a business. So connecting with business owners. And, and again, I also wanted to do a lot of things for our community. So connecting with people that were already doing things for the nonprofit organizations out there. Now those three cornerstones were things that I didn't have when I came back. I came back with literally no one in my network. So I had to figure out how to build this network on my own. One other thing I want to share with you is that do you know how most people find the job or career that they're in currently it's through their network most people found almost 28 percent of people found the career or profession that they're currently in because of their network even going back to high school when i went in the army the people that i surrounded myself with most frequently back then my parents they were in the military my sister she was in the military my grandfather he was in the military and a lot of my friends from high school also went in the military so that naturally meant that I was going to the military too. Does this make sense? How the people you surround yourself with dictate what your future may be? Now that I'm back here in, in the US and I'm not over in Afghanistan anymore, there was a big shift and I kind of had to burn the boat. So if you feel like you're not getting the traction that you're trying to, you know, the traction that you want and deserve, take a look at the network and the people you surround yourself with most frequently throughout the day. Are those people aligned with your dream list? If you want to own real estate, do the people you surround yourself with, do they own real estate? If you want to own a business, are you surrounding yourself with other business owners? If you want to do charity work, are you taking time out of your day to purposely meet other people that are doing charity work and finding out what it is and how they were able to do that? I mean, think about that. The people you surround yourself with are the people who you become. So. How do you get out there and network? Now, there's a lot of different ways that I do it. Some of these ways may work for you. Some of these may, some of these ways may work better. But one of the things that I do purposefully is, you know, on social media frequently, whether it's Facebook or LinkedIn, I'll reach out and connect with someone that aligns with my dream list. Again, real estate investing is something that I absolutely love. And connecting with other people, whether it's over coffee, lunch, or going to an event where other real estate investors will be at, 
that's something that I prioritize. Now, the same thing on LinkedIn. You know, at the end of the day, I'll go through and I will connect with other people, especially veterans that are real estate investors, because again, we have something that's in common. And I think that, you know, if I'm able to align with them and provide value and shorten the path of their journey on real estate investing, then down the road, the law of reciprocation will come back and do the same for me. So we have LinkedIn, we have Facebook, and then of course we have events. Events, whether it's your Chamber of Commerce, your BNI events, or any of these visitor days, getting out to these conferences, right? You can watch videos online with YouTube, you know, from home. If you're, if you're trying to learn how to network, you can watch videos from home any day. But if you actually actually get out there and get into the conference zone, like, you know, this real estate wealth expo that I went to in LA, you know, there was almost 10,000 different people in the real estate field and industry there. And to be honest, I, it was a little overwhelming because you know, how could anyone possibly network with 10,000 people in 48 hours? It's just not possible, I think. So also becoming the lighthouse, right? I always talk about becoming the lighthouse. If you provide value for the people around you, the people around you will provide value for you. Going back to that, stop trying to sell people when you meet them. Get through that, don't do it. Provide value to your network first. So at that conference, if I was able to meet, say, 1,000 people in 48 hours or even 100 people, which is pretty realistic, they actually have conversations and discover what it is that they're working towards, what they're passionate about, what their objective is in their business and their growth, and connecting them with someone else that is able to do that and help shorten that path. I may not be the expert, but if I can connect them with the expert, that is something that they'll see a lot of value in. And now when they come across someone in their you know rubber band stack and they're going through their list, hopefully they will also reciprocate and find someone and connect them with me on my real estate journey. If you add one person to your network every single day for the next 365 days, you'll have 365 new people. Now, the last and final thing in this eight steps to master your day course is that when it comes to networking, you must, it's critical, you must follow up with the people that you have connected with. Now, whether that means sending out a text, leaving a comment on one of their posts, shooting them a message, picking up the phone and calling them, you have to maintain your network because over time your network will naturally decay. I'll say that again, you must do this or all of it doesn't matter when it comes to networking. If you add someone to your network, you have to follow up with them. Check in because their goals may change. Thank you so much for following along on this eight steps to master your day course, adding one person to your network every single day. Again, leave a comment below and let's see if we can connect you with someone else that's inside my network and help shorten that path to whatever it is that you're working towards. Again, for more information, just check out mitchdurfee.com and feel free to reach out to me at any time. I'm happy to help.